hello students today we are going to discuss about the matrix so our topic will be the introduction to the matrix now the matter is what actually a matrix is we can uh, discuss about its physical applications are um, in the letter but now let us go for the mathematical representation and calculation part of the matrix here first of all we have to know how to write and symbolize the matrix and how to use it for our different calculation mathematics and what are the different features and types of the matrix now today we have to discuss just the beginning or short part of the matrix that is the introduction to the matrix now as you can see in this note that a matrix is a rectangular arrangement shortly called array of numbers these numbers can be real or complex sometimes it can be symbols also which may be represented as as you can see rectangularly rectangularly means it this arrangements of numbers will be either in the horizontal horizontal way or in the vertical way if you are arranging in the horizontal way this horizontal representation is called row and this vertical representation is called column so if we are now arranging numbers in row and different columns then it will become a rectangular arrangement and this is called a matrix so matrix is nothing but the arrangement of numbers in different rows and different columns Uh, now how to symbolize or how to uh, so for people that it is actually you are writing a matrix so for that purpose we have to use we can use different type of brackets this brackets represents the matrix now many type of brackets are many different type of matrix uh, brackets are used but some commonly used brackets for the matrix are like parentheses or round brackets square brackets and sometimes in many cases double vertical bar brackets are also used so these three brackets are widely used to represent a matrix now how to symbolize a matrix what is the short form of a matrix different type of letters symbols are used to represent a matrix generally we used to use capital english letters to represent a matrix but in many other cases special cases small letters are also used to represent a matrix and sometimes symbols are also used to represent matrix i will tell you in the later classes i will tell you where these short symbols short letters and these symbols are used to represent a matrix what are the special cases where it is used i will tell you later but generally capital letters are used to represent a matrix now a very compact or short form to represent a matrix is like this here what actually we are doing you are writing the name of the matrix and here a small element a i j using a square bracket we are representing it now let's discuss what are the elements of a matrix the numbers that actually we are arranging in a rectangular form in a rectangular form 
here. Here we are arranging the numbers in the rectangular form. Rectangular means again I am telling you row wise and column wise. Now these elements, these no elements, these numbers, they are actually called the elements of the matrix. The elements of this uh, the matrix is generally represented as uh, by the symbol A I J, which denotes the element in the ith row and the jth column of the matrix. Let me explain you through one example. Say I am saying A22. Now what this 22 represents? This 22 represents the second row and the second column. So the element at the position of the second row and the second column is denoted as A22 and so on. I hope you can understand. Now let's go for the order of a matrix. What do you mean by the order of a matrix? Say in a matrix maximum there are n m number of rows and the maximum number of columns is n there. So in a matrix where m number of rows and totally n number of columns are there then we can say that that matrix has the order m by n. What is m and n? m and n are row numbers and total number of columns. Total number of rows, total number of columns. Definitely they are natural numbers. So now we can write the matrix as A and we can mention the order of the matrix which is M by N or M into N at the right bottom of the name of the matrix. The order M by N is read, read as M by N or M into N. Now here if a matrix order is M by N or M into N then what is the total number of elements in that matrix? It will be definitely M into N. Say a matrix has 5 rows and 6 columns. So definitely that matrix will contain elements equals to 5 into 6 that is 30. So this is the introduction part of the matrix. In the next class we are going to discuss different type of or different categories of matrices and I am going to tell you that this category categories of matrices or types of matrices will be definitely based on this important features that is order of the matrix. Our future calculations and future discussions of matrix will be mostly based on the order of the matrix. So this is a very important part order of the matrix which matters a lot in the discussion of matrix. So today this is for the introduction of matrix. Thank you.